Hello, welcome back to Wild Frost. It's another late night episode. It's like 3 a.m. I, I've been like, I don't know. I've been not wanting to go to bed at the end of my days. And so eh, here I am. Uh, I did stream this game today and the streak is at zero. We had two pretty rough ones. Uh, some man, I really hope they offer me a good card today sort of runs, but that's okay. Also, I feel, I feel much less concentrated when I play this game if I'm streaming it. Mostly I've been streaming it just kind of for fun. It's fun to play the game and just kind of shoot the shit. But if I were just playing super serious, I would just do YouTube videos. But uh, it's whatever, you know, I don't care. Let's get to it, shall we? Uh, so we have, it's probably going to be Clunk Junk of these three. Uh, this guy's all right, but for... One less attack, I get one more HP and Barrage, which is good with me. And I'm going to play... Barrage heroes, I think, are okay to play a little Gazi, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to play Spike. I think I'm just always going to play Spike. hate when the, the Penguin opener doesn't show me the full Penguin opener. I get why they had to do it, but like, man... I don't want to see Snoof and Penguin here. I want action. I can get the two kill here. I think I deserve it. Am I a fool? I'm a fool. I cannot get the two kill here. I don't know why I thought that was a two kill. Here, this is a two kill. Yeah, I would like to... I'll pretend like this was my plan all along. It was not. I would not lie to you. Ooh, not a good Waddle Goons charm. I think Waddle Goons has like the most, like the highest density of things that just make me go ooh in the charm pool. This is the Penguins, so I'm going to let the Goblin go. I'll hit him once before he goes, and a little tap. And then I'm going to... I, I don't have to press bell. It's free to play this card. I ding the bell. And then I kill Waddle Goons for my nice 5 kill. Make an okay amount of money. Big Pang is stuck on 3, but it doesn't really matter because I have Junkhead. Alright. Good stuff. Great first fight. No complaints from me. Even 80 gold, look at that. A nice clean 80. Alright. Uh, as much as I love charms, I think you have to go double units here. I need them to give me as many cards as I can see here. Haze Balloon. Huh. I'm gonna go Frost Bloom here. Alan's fine. It's okay to play Foxy here. You gotta understand, I'm coming off a whole lot of... Coming off a few real bad ones. So, I'm down to just play some, some Foxy. What'd they do to Tinkerson? What'd they do to my guy? Holy. Uh, I'll play Fizzle of these options. I'll, like, I would normally pick Tinkerson here, but that Demonize is spooky. I don't think he's good enough with the demon eyes, and I'm not going to play Alloy because I'm just going to kill myself playing this unit, no doubt. So I'll just play Fizzle, although Fizzle and Foxy are basically the same. I think Fizzle is pretty worthless in this fight, though. Can't really tank and also doesn't do any damage for a while. I'll play it, but... I find myself liking Fizzle less and less as we go on. Fizzle's it's a good vessel unit. You can do a lot of good stuff, potentially. But, uh, has a lot of, like, trouble getting there, I think. The biggest trouble of this run is going to be, I have no health. I need survivability. I'm gonna hit the bell here since it's barrage. That is the, what the hell, there's a smackback earthberry? Ooh. Well, I am not happy I did that. 
Because now I'm just hitting one enemy anyway. Anyway, it's just a different one enemy. Yuck. What happens if you frost bloom? Does they go to negative? I think they go to negative. So I could frost bloom this earth berry if I so chose. I'm gonna silence him though. Silence him, Foxy kills the other earth berry, and then Spike tanks both of these. I was right, I'm not gonna end up playing Fizzle. Not a crazy thing to find here, I think. Not all that outlandish. I didn't really expect Fizzle to do anything. Something along these lines, right? And then I'm, I just wish my hero did one more here. But it'll be one, two, three is my hits here. Or one, two, three. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Maybe it matters. One, two, hang on. Why doesn't this make sense in my mind? I do three to all, right? If I hammer the earth berry, it's at four. No, it's at two. Heals to four. Oh, and then goes to one from my hero. So when I was I was doing the math in my head and I couldn't figure out in my mind I was like, oh, this earth berry is at four after this gear hammer, and Foxy just kills Berry Witch. And if I hit Berry Witch, I was I basically couldn't find the damage I was missing. None of it matters. I forgot that Berry Witch wasn't going to heal herself there. So I actually just got the kill completely. I don't know. I'm out of my mind. I'm losing it, apparently. I just can't count. I guess I should have hit the Goblin. Maybe I don't really like money after all. I just want to check this here. Do you do 12? Ah, oh, cool. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. I wasn't certain. But... Mostly for this run, I'm looking for Molten Dip and... I mean, or for Forging Stove is also fine. Something for Foxy and a way to, uh, like, scale my health survivability. Not even scale it, just make it renewable would be fine. I guess maybe I have enough if I have enough damage, though. Mm, I don't want another unit on this run, so I'm going to go look at Charms now. We're going to hope they show me something good here. Clock Charm is good. Survival. No. Not my guy, Bling Bank. Sunglass Chime is really good. And Aimless Sun Cream. I can play this. Sun Cream doesn't matter. It's usually you're playing it on a, or Aimless doesn't matter on it, I mean. I'm all right with that. Magma Booster. It's close. That's what I think. Magma Booster is close. Aimless on Foxy, but you're getting a plus three. I think I'm just gonna buy a charm. Squid charm? Okay. Ah, uh, Magma Booster and then I can ink Foxy would have been fine. I'm gonna play Squid Charm Foxy. Is this Bamboozled? No, this is Infernoco. I'm gonna block charm my hero. This might be a mistake, though. Now, I do want Foxy to go early because I want Foxy to silence Infernoco for me. That's really nice and easy. You. Mini Moco, what the hell? Hmm. I think I need to silence the Mini Moco. Probably something like. Fizzle, silence, 
And then maybe sunglass chime? You're doing three, maybe Junkhead. Sunglass Chime is good, but it's better later when I have more, more resources, if you will. Why did I play Junkhead? Oh, for critical, that was a mistake. Well, let's change the idea then. I think I wanna make good use of this. say better use of this. Uh, let's do sunglass chime here. It's a shame it's wasted like this is what I feel, but it's okay. I could put it here and then I don't have to take the porcupine damage, but I do have to take the infernoco damage. Oh god, I can't, I can't see this. It's like Junkhead's here. No, Fizzle's here. Junkhead's here. Sunglass Chime is here. This deals three from Sunglass Chime breaking from Mini Moko. Uh, here, here, Sunglass Chime. Then I'll silence Infernoko. And Fizzle won't kill Minimoko on the first set of hits. Yeah, this is it. Okay, I like this. And then you get Silence. I have blocks, so I don't care about the five. Then the rest of my turn goes, the rest of these idiots die. But they don't pass on their damage, so Infernoko is just at five, which is, you know, not great, but fine. There's a Makoko coming. I'm down with just sun creaming Foxy here. Because it lets me silence Infernoko on the phase switch, which means he's stuck on two damage for a while. Oh, the Makoko is apparently the last unit in on this version of the fight. I don't know why, but I don't mind it. It's gonna take a while to kill anything behind. It has to be my hero. I need a junk, so I, I'm Inferno goes stuck on two forever. I need a junk, so Junkhead tanks. Oh, Junkhead and Spike tank. My hero's got a three barrage coming. After Fizzle goes, if you would be so kind. Taking Foxy up to two is very good. Yeah, I'm never gonna lose this fight, but I'd like to get more money. But most of my money is just gonna come from killing Infernoko, I guess, really. Not a whole lot of multi-kill money out there. And if even if there were, it's like, what, maybe 20? I don't like it too much. I think I just kill him and let these four run off. Although, I could do it this way. You'll go two, 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 two. So if this is a three kill, which is acceptable. I'll take it. I counted correctly. How exciting. A three kill on the way out, not too bad. I spent a lot of money in the prior shop, so it's good to look for a little bit of extra money so I have enough for a crown plus a uh, vase piece. Oh, I could make Foxy a one turn timer off of this. I really like the hands bell now because drawing through all the garbage is good, but putting Foxy on a one turn timer seems pretty busted. Oh, this charm, if you're, if you're having trouble with the negative charms, Frostwolf charm is very free, because it can go on anything. So it can go on the junk, for example. 
It can go on dead weights, funnily enough. Ah, oh, yeah, this is where I died on my last run. I was playing... Hi, Blunky. I was playing... Oh, I was actually playing something similar to this into... Wait, no, I didn't die here. I died in the next area. I guess it's just they give it to you at the start of the area. Uh, I died to Bone Cats with a Fizzle plus Bombarder run. I just had no damage. A shame I don't get a crown here. Gotcha Pomper. That's too bad. Man, what the fuck? Gotcha Pomper Molten Dip and I have to click bo fucking Broken Vase here? Now watch, this is just going to be like Demon Heart and Leech Mask somehow. Oh, it's Plinker Chrono. <laughs> it took one of Slapcracker's multi-hits away. Hey, come on, don't do him like that. What the hell? Man, yeah, one more crown would have meant I could have guaranteed the Sun Cream turn one for Foxy. That's too bad. Uh, Chrono's hard to fit on the board, but I think I will still play it. It's good to have. And I'm pretty sure I'm kicking Fizzle out. Scrap Charm. It's good for Chrono. Very nice to have Chrono be able to tank a hit. I'm gonna send Fizzle away. There's no reason to hold this unit. And I'm gonna crown... I'll do Chrono, because Foxy's gonna be swinging very fast. The problem here is that Foxy is stuck on one attack. Maybe forever, but hopefully not forever. It is four damage, but I really have to just fast draw for Junkhead. I need Junk so that I'm allowed to play Sunsong Bok. It's like... Well, I'm gonna kill Shell Witch. I was gonna maybe play Spike, but I'm just gonna kill that myself. I can play Spike. And because of how Aimless operates... Uh, oh, thank god, no, no prickles. Because of how Aimless operates, I can just do this. And guarantee it. Uh, Conquer did not get silenced. Important thing to note here. This is doing 7. I'm going to let Spike take it. I'm not too worried about Spike here. If he dies, he dies. Pretty much is where I am. Uh, I want to save the Junkhead so that I can guarantee the Junk in hand with Sunslung Box. I hit it anyway, so, you know, doubling my damage output here. Very nice. Extremely lovely. Because I think that just means Foxy goes twice in a round, right? Yeah, if I ever get to play Sunslung Box. God, Sunlight Drum on this run goes ridiculous. It's nice to play something uh, simpler here. I gotta say, I'm really gonna cherish the runs that don't make me... I'm, I'm gonna cherish the runs that aren't like an hour long. I never knew how good things truly were before. Well, I guess I'll deadweight the goblin for money. Got nothing better to do here. Thematic that Bulgo gets the shell charm. What the hell do I do with this shit? I cure hammer you, I guess. In theory, in this run, not even in theory. I think practically, I can get Foxy to go four times or three times in a turn if I play Sunsong Box and have Sunglass Chime both die. Oh, fuck, I could have multiple sunglass chimes. I could have Foxy going, like, non-stop here. Imagine I sunsong box before that. Foxy's just popping off. That was 46 ink. Hmm. That's a little bit. I can get another sunglass chime. How good is that, really? I think it's not that good. Barter, workbench. Mega Mimic's okay. It serves two purposes. It gives me a good target for bad charms down the line, potentially. Like, they could show me 
uh, I probably have a better chance of showing me the minus scrap charm because of this, which I would be happy to take. Also, it just gives me some free early damage. I think the second sunglass chime is a joke. It's a fun idea, but like, man, my my, my man's going every turn. I'll just take a charm because a plus two here, like a battle charm, is just game over. Lumen ring. Uh, it is more damage. It, it is undeniably more damage. I cannot tell a lie. Man, poor Snuffle. I'll take Bomb Bomb here. I need a unit that has health to go stand on the final boss. Do I have another crown or anything? No. Do I want to keep Bomb Bomb in? Not really. I think I'll be alright here. Mm, maybe it'll be a little tough, because I have to get through this Gromble. This is what Mega Mimic is for, though. Mega Mimic's here to put me ahead. Because once I get ahead, say it with me, I stay ahead. That's right. Killing just this Bigfoot even is good. I do have to play Junkhead, though. Like, mission critical, I gotta play Junkhead. My life depends on it. I'm gonna let Foxy take this one. He can take a three. It's uh, my thought here. This is here's a piece of knowledge on how I think about the game that can help you potentially. Uh, if there's a position where you have a unit, like let's say this position, right? My Foxy has four HP. Gromble deals three damage. At no point in this fight is Foxy under threat from random damage. There's no way that Foxy takes, like, damage that's outside of my control, right? I always know the only thing that can really catch you here is a, a Teeth Charm, basically. That's the only thing that can catch you for this. Uh, but Foxy's gonna die to a Teeth Charm anyway. So, it's fine to just take the three on Foxy now and maximize usage of this four health, right? It's using the resource to its fullest, is how I think about it. Because I have the health, I may as well spend it here. That's how I've been thinking about it lately. This little so-and-so thinks he's gonna get one over on me. He's gonna eat one of his guys and live. He's right, he is gonna do that. And I... Oh no, he's not even gonna eat a guy, he's silenced. He's just gonna do four. I'm okay with that, I'm gonna go... Sun Cream Foxy, or maybe Sun Song Box first. Sun Song Box first here, because I actually want to play Sunglass Chime on the following turn, I believe. Ooh, I want to Sun Song Box my hero, actually, because that means that I do 4x3 in front of Chrono, which is enough to kill Grombles and Big Feet. Yeah, this is a little better. Oh, but it's... I don't want to lose my block, is the thing. Hmm. I sh what I should not do here is I should not get too lost in the sauce. Looking for the perfect line. Everything I do here should be fine. I'm gonna Sun Song box my hero. It feels more correct. Oh, this isn't that big of a deal. Hero goes here, Foxy just loses multi-hit, because I want Sunglass Chime going first. On the first Gromble. Then Foxy kills the Wooly Drek. And I'm going to Sun Cream, and that'll kill the Bigfoot, and I'm now ahead. I have killed the enemies with one turn to spare. Which is good with me, because it lets me get a redraw off. I will just press the redraw bell here, because I don't really care to play anything. It doesn't matter much. Probably able to get rid of Spike now. But it's nice to have Spike as this health uh, backup plan, more or less. So I don't know. I'm gonna freeze up the Gromble. And 
I would like to... I'd like to find Sunsong Box. There it is. I wish I had silenced that paw paw. 4812 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I could also just face the paw paw. I could take ooh, 6. I don't like that very much. I want to silent or freeze the paw paw, but. Ah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Uh, I just go Gear Hammer Big Lou. This is okay. I don't mind Pop on killing Jughead here. Because the, the big trick here, this guy gets silenced. It means I can just use Chrono like this. And then I suppose I can Sun Song Box. That's fine with me. Look at this 10 damage instead of 5. As is, this will not be the true ending. No doubt in my mind. I'm not delusional. This shit is not winning that. But, uh, it's close. The framework is in place, you know? Oh. Don't make me take a junk. This is the first time I've seen Empowered Truffle, I'm pretty sure. Ah, no junk. They fucked up that pom bomb though, for real. It's okay, this is like gaining a small amount of gold. It's less than if I had gotten to go to the cave, but it's fine. Frostbite shard? I don't think so. Could maybe put it on one of the final boss enemies, like on Junker, but hopefully by then I'm winning. Sunlight drum for sure. And I'm just gonna buy out all your crowns. Oh, God bless that. Does That's plus attack. Amen. That's also plus attack. Moose charm. Recycle charm. That's also plus attack, although not for him. Okay, what do I want here? Plus one or plus three and then plus one on the turn timer. Well... This is actually a, a question that I can answer much easier. I was going to say, well, I can go around and I can play Sun Cream at 2 with Lumen Vase, but I think that that's hard. I think that that's very hard. So, let's, let's talk it out in numbers terms. I can do 4 every... four, So, 20 every 2 turns, or... And every turn? Oh. Okay. So it's the same. So it's 2 by 5 every turn versus 4 by 5 every 2 turns. So it's coming out to 10 damage per turn, which means it's better to play Raspberry Charm because I have ways to buff. Even though it's not a good way, I have a way to buff. So Raspberry Charm beats out Moose Charm here. Final answer. Sorry, I'm repositioning myself a little bit, settling in for the final final stretch here. Spike, Deadway, uh, what do I want crowned here, really? I don't hate just doing sun cream right away. Yeah, it's nice and simple. All right, let's see what they did to Truffle. Ooh! Truffle applies a poison. Do you think it keeps it on split? Because if it does, that's fucked up. I guess we'll we'll just be perma-silencing him anyway, so who cares, right? Dunkhead gets out there. He steals six. Do I have to hit my own sun or my own junk head? I think so. I can do it with dead weight, then I don't lose the scrap. Thanks, dead weight. Truffle now is just truffle dealing fives. 
Oh, the Swarm Bell makes this fight a little safer, too. The Swarm Bell is odd, because I feel like it just... Do, do you think this, too? Am I alone in this? I feel like the Swarm Bell makes the game a lot easier. Maybe I'll go give feedback about that in the Discord. I haven't had a position yet where I go, oh man, the Swarm Bell. What a nightmare. Every time I get it, I just go, oh, cool. That's good for me. Not, I mean, I guess not get it. Every time I play it. More accurately. I think Spike has a divine purpose in this run. Spike is here to die to Shrudels for me. This is what we're really keeping Spike for, by the way. Uh, I, I understand that there's maybe a little bit of uncertainty about why I'm playing Spike still. Uh, because he has a lot of trouble staying alive, but he doesn't have to stay alive. He just comes in and dies on one good fight for you. He, like, knocks out a Makoko or lowers the Makoko's health. He puts six into a Shrudels for me here. He just has a whole lot of times where he does absolutely okay things. This is much more impactful than anything any other pet could offer me at this stage of a run. Except for maybe like a high roll on Snoop. But killing that Shrudels and putting 4 damage into the Makoko is so good. Because now instead of having to think about this Makoko and like what, freeze it maybe? I just kill it. It's dead. I have put up 52 ink on the truffle. Hmm, yes. He'll be splitting soon, I think. The downside is I'm gonna make no money here, but... Sorry. Fight's over. I think technically I should have waited one more turn. Because I bet I could have killed that Shroom Gobbler too. I could have gained five more dollars, but that's okay. Don't show me anything too exciting here. Oh, it's Battle Charm. Too bad. A Bell of Bell. Do I want anything like a Weakened Charm here? I didn't even draw Sunlight Drum in that fight, did I? I don't think I did. Weakened Charm Frostbloom is kind of cute, but I'm more of a Sun Bell of Charge enjoyer. Hey, Broken Charm. Squid Skull Charm, uh, it will... I guess I could just put it on Gear Hammer, actually. But, no, I, Broken Charm, Mega Mimic is also fine. Mega Mimic's mostly a chump blocker at this point. Actually, yeah, I think I'd rather do this. Squid Skull Charm on Gear Hammer is basically a non-issue. I mean, not even basically, it is just nothing. It also, in some runs, it's a buff to Junkhead, which is really goofy. Okay. Hey. Nice. I'm gonna go look for something like Forging Stove or Magma Dip here. Magma Dip, Molten Dip here. I see GM, but it got minus one. What the hell? This is almost certainly ICGM. I wonder if I have too much random bullshit to tank with in this one. If I pick this, but I think it's the right idea. I crush this fight super hard, actually. Because I silence them too. Oh, I should crush this fight super hard. My mistake. I have a little bit of time to figure it out. I'm gonna need Mega Mimic, I'm pretty sure. The plus HP from Raspberry Charm will help too. Two, 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 two. Uh. This is right. 
I'm counting this correctly. Two, five, two. Oh, he dies. Oh, Mega Mimic dies. Yeah. Two, five. Ah, okay, so it needs to go two, 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 and then I'm good. I see it. Now it goes... Hey, you idiot, don't hit him. Hey! A hero goes first and then just fucks it all up. Alright, fine. You do it. So it's th Okay, fine. My hero can do it. No, but then Foxy goes first. Hey! Ugh. Yuck. I recall Foxy here ever. I don't think so. Is it supposed to go three, five, two to kill Burster, but I'm stuck on this fucking foxy bullshit. I could go... Alright, I'm done looking at this. My hero just loses the block. I don't care. I'm over it. Don't make me deal with Teeth Charm again. Stop it at once. God damn it. <laughs> at least this one can be silenced. Ah, <sighs> it's fine. I... The more that I play the game, the more that I feel like the teeth charms are... I, I don't like them as enemy charms, and mostly I just feel like it feels very oppressive sometimes. You, you And I always say, well, you just have to build around it, but that doesn't mean I like it. I think teeth charms are kind of gross. I don't want to have to just build around it. I want there to be good counterplay and not just, you better have a lot of damaging cards. This is fine. Or a unit with high health, also. Or like a defensive scaling idea, stuff like that, you know. Foxy, I get it. You hit seven times. You're very cool. Two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four. Numbskull's gonna hit the sunglass chime and spell his own doom here. D-O-O-M. I tried to warn him. Not really, I didn't really try to warn him. He's gonna get fucking annihilated here. I'm gonna play ICGM too. This dude's so dead. It's never been so over. 15 plus 14 plus uh, 36 there. Like 65 damage he's taking on that turn. Oh yeah, and then I do another uh, 29. He's very gone. It's never Charm Merchant. I need another crown for sure. Well, here I am, eh? The best thing to do in this position is take Clockwork Bomb. This is close to a buff card. It's like buff card adjacent. Oh, fuck. Yeah, can I undo that? I click too fast thinking... I, I've just been... Every time I go to one of those nodes, I just start clicking like it's a... Like it's ice... Like, it's iced out. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, th this card, this this shit right here, where every now and then the charm is just, oh, this is a dead weight now. Very strange. Very, very strange. Alright. They said, I don't know if I talked about this, it's been, uh, I played a lot of Wild for us lately, I don't know where I've spoken about what. 
But they said they're looking at reworking the downgrade bell, which is really good news. Very glad to hear it. Uh, the general reasoning is downgrade bell is supposed to create situations where you go, oh, this is a decidedly worse version of the card, but I still want it. But instead, all it does is create a bunch of dead weights and like woodheads and things like that. Sometimes it does create those interesting situations, but because of how it randomizes, it sometimes, I mean, mostly it just doesn't. Which is fine, you know, you don't have to hit it on the first pass. That's why we're in beta. If I wanted this shit to be a perfect and flawless finished product of a, like, game, I would be playing live. Uh, you know, not to say that the live is, like, a perfect flawless game or anything, but, you know. The beta's not the place for that. Oh, yeah, this is a bug. If you ever experience this, I don't know exactly what causes this one. I think it's when you kill Rock Hog with a silence application, like in the same turn that you apply the silence. Uh, the Rock Hog effect just doesn't fade on the units that it was on. If you ever see this, all you have to do is quit the menu and it'll uh, recalculate correctly. And the multi strike is gone. Cool, huh? Don't say I never teach you anything. Do I want to hold this hand? Not really. I'm gonna put the plum in jail. That guy's locked up for crime. And then I'm gonna Clockwork Bomb Frost Guardian. I was thinking about playing this hand through, but I'm not. Makoko deals two. Frost Guardian deals two. It's a shame I lose one on the Frost Guardian. You know what? Actually, I should just ink the Ice Forge here. It's my best play. Because then I don't have to deal with damage on my stuff. I just take a bunch of zeros here. My hero barrages all of this away. Would have been nice to kill the Grink though, I won't lie. What do we got today? Sunlight Drum? You know, I think I did draw Sunlight Drum in the last fight, which is silly of me to forget. Hmm. I'm gonna let Foxy tank the Grink hit here. Losing 2 damage on Foxy doesn't matter much, and I want to keep my block intact. I haven't needed to use it, which is good, and I'm looking to keep it that way. Is this worse than whatever is normally going to spawn in, or better? I'm not going to act like I know. Oh, yeah, it's fine. I knew this was happening. Uba bear? Uba there. If I sunglass chime with Foxy in front, I silence Uba bear, which is cool. I can do. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of attacks. This is three attacks in a turn for Foxy, right? Pretty sure Foxy's about to go 21 times. Count it up. That was seven. And they hit the sunglass chime. Foxy goes another seven. My hero goes. Oh, I silenced the guardian, by the way. Good thing I didn't silence early. Okay. It's gonna take a while to get through the 71. Can I get Clockwork Bomb in here, please? I guess Sunlight Drum is fine, too. Clockwork Bomb just is faster. It'll feel faster anyway. Well, I cannot lose here. It's a Frost Guardian. I'll get Mega Mimic down. That's 15 damage right there. I'm so sick of this fucking ink sound effect. Please stop making the splatter noise. 
Um, if I just freeze the spike while this is a lethal setup, I'm gonna recall Foxy. Get the hell out of here, Foxy. I don't want to hear your ink sound anymore. My hero kills. It's all good. Alright, not too bad. I gotta think a little bit about the final boss. Crossbite charm or aimless charm? You can give me aimless charm. This bothers me none. It can go on dead weight? Okay. Sure. I have a ton of random bullshit to throw out as chump blockers. What I should do here is I should crown Clockwork Bomb. I guess, you know, I should have Moose Charmed my hero. Moose Charming my hero is fine on Barrage. This is something, I should have done this when I got it. Especially with Sunglass Chime and all the hits I'm doing, for sure. That's okay. The game plan here is simple. I think that there are... There are three main ways to play this fight uh, these days. Uh, one one way is to just kill the Junker and then freeze the Crusher, and that basically kills all the damage output. The other way is to just neutralize the Jailer, which we can do very easily as well. He's going to be inked forever, which actually probably means I should be facing the Crusher, but... Putting up four bomb is good. I just kind of want to kill him so I don't have to move back and forth much. Junkhead's Sunsong box is okay for two turns. I don't hate it. But I'd also just rather draw Chrono. Hmm. Pause to play Mega Mimic, Sunglass Chime, Sunlight Drum. I think that that's worth. Although, I am building this Junker up pretty large. I think this is fine. And then... Something along these lines. Although... No, I shouldn't break the Sunglass Chime early. Which does mean I'm holding this hand for bad reasons of... I mean, I, mean, I have nothing to play here. 2-5 on my hero. And send Foxy up to tank the Crusher. I'm stuck here and it's awkward now. Because I didn't draw Chrono. And so I guess I'm playing Sunglass Chime. My hero's taking 2 plus 5. And then I'm playing Sunlight Drum. No, I think it's wrong. I think it's this. I think it has to be that. I think it has to be Foxy Tanks Crusher. Silencing Crusher isn't that big of a deal because he's up to 5 already, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Drum goes out. This is a big overlap on the next turn. But I maintain my hero's health up by moving up like that. And I should be drawing Spike here. Who is gonna do what Spike is born to do. Die to the bomber and the crusher. My hero takes a five from the junker, which is fine. I bottom decked Chrono Lumen Vase? Oh, that's disgusting. Spike has to go up there and die. I have to take a 5 here. Oh, that's 6, actually. Oh. It has to be. I have to play it like this now. I'm fairly locked in. It's Spike here. Hero goes to four. Jailer's dead. Muncher's three away. Lancer's three away. 
This is it, but it makes my skin crawl. I feel very not happy. Because this overlap is ridiculous. It's so rough. It's... Man, I'm so mad about this Chrono shit. I thought we'd get that out there. It's, um... It's Frostbloom the Lancer. And then Freeze the Junker. And I have to use my Sunglass Chime here. Oh, Muncher. No, I can't do this. Am I dead? Did I lose this? I'm gonna be real mad if I lost this. I think I did. With Sunglass Chime and Chrono... My hero will deal 18 barrage, which is not enough. Huh. Looks like I'm dead. Doesn't it? Oh, the Lancer's not aimless. That's important to remember here, too. Okay, uh, what am I thinking here? Let's not just give in to despair. There is a line that survives. It's just, uh, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I see it. Uh, is it okay? Yes, I think so. So it's gotta be... Sunglass Chime here... Chrono in front. I lose my Lumen Vase, which is pretty sad. But this will go... Crusher kills the Chime. Uh, my units go with the Chrono buff from the, from the Chime going off. And then I have Chrono Tank, Lancer, Junker. Muncher has to hit Foxy. And then I will be at one. But alive. Very alive. Well, alive enough, anyway. I don't have another choice. And now I'm dead on this turn, but at least I lived to this turn, right? At least I got to get here. I don't understand why I died here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I guess it's just damage output too low. I assumed I was gonna be able to get away with random bullshit here, but I've had to spend so many of my turns pressing the redraw bell and just getting nothing out of it. But the real killer here and the reason I'm dying is because I couldn't, I couldn't stop Junker Crusher. The reason I lost this run is because of this. Man, I said I was excited for a nice easy uh, not hour-long nightmare, and here I am, an hour into this fucking run, dying. Ugh. So, what's, what's the hindsight here? It's actually, uh, I would just play, instead of this piece of shit, I would have played Snowcaked. If I could replay this fight, but I Snowcaked turn one, I think I win 100%. I don't know why I thought Critical Clockwork Bomb was so important. Like, maybe if I was using it to kill the Crusher, it would have been fine. But why do that? I should I should just freeze something. This is what I get for trying new things. I, I saw it and I went, ooh, I bet that could be good here. Let's put this out and then we can even use its cool critical effect. This card fucking sucks.
two damage one time is not good enough. But also I bottom decked uh, like crazy here too, to be fair. Having Chrono Lumen Vase be the bottom two cards is really bad. You, there's one other thing I find from this. There's one other thing that I think is really important to take away. Because we are, in, in relearning this game, we are basically, we're learning a whole new game here. Uh, what, a, what I think is interesting here is I think that this redraw bell is really bad now. Sunbell of the Bell, I think it's really not good. Because, like, how the fuck... What does it do for me? It does absolutely nothing. I spent all of that run just pressing the redraw bell over and over again, trying to dig for my actual useful cards. I think Bell of the Bell is pretty bad. Or was pretty bad. I think it's only really good if you have the draw bell, so you're not drawing like... Because a lot of the time, especially in this clan, your hands are like, I'm, I'm drawing gear hammer, dead weight, dead weight, junk, and all of a sudden I have like, how do I even play three of those cards, right? So it's better to just take the draw bell, but, you know, I'd have to look back at what I had. It's a, it's an upsetting run to lose, because I know what I should have done now, but I couldn't see it in the moment. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.